stuff this cup. For the month of April, the Nova Scotia Women That Hunt, along with Precious Artworks and Prints and Muskrat Gulch, are going to be stuffing this cup and giving it away. Find out at the end of this video how you can win. here today from the Nova Scotia Women That Hunt Association and today we are rendering down bear fat. This bear fat is straight from a harvest so if you can see it's got it's quite big chunks, it's got hair in it, it's dirty, it's got particles of meat and as we render it down we are going to filter all that stuff out. We're just starting out. Uh, right now I have the slow cooker set at about 200. Um, you can hear it sizzling. The one thing you don't want to do is set it too high that you're actually going to um, cook the meat uh, or like deep fry I guess the meat that's that's mixed in with the fat. You want it low and slow so that things just kind of melt. Um, that's and, and then as we progress through that, we will remove those particles to have a nice clean rendered fat. I tend to keep the lid off because I don't want to overcook or get the temperature up too high. So throughout this process, I'm going to uh, I'm going to cut these pieces up as they get hot. You can see as the fat starts to melt away, it's going to get become a liquid. And as we get this stuff boiled down into more of a liquid, then I'll start chopping them up really small um, to help the process along. This is a long process. It's something, you know, this is fairly uh, full. So, you know, put it on. you got to check on it quite a bit. And this is a fall bear, so there's a lot and a lot of fat. You just got it low and slow and keep an eye on it. Uh, I've left this about 20 minutes and I pulled this piece up from the bottom so you can see how it's kind of singeing. I don't want that, but if you can see already the amount of liquid right here that's melting. So it's just important to keep rotating this so that it's not gonna singe. Because the last thing I want is soap that smells like bacon. So I'm going to set the clock for another 20 minutes now that that's chopped up and I'm going to come back and I'll give it a stir and chop it up some more. We are about two hours in now in rendering down the bear fat and if you can see that we have quite a pool now of bear fat that's liquid. Um, I think at this point we're still at about about we're still around about 175 degrees. At this point I'm going to pour off um, the fat that's in here. I'm only going to put it through a strainer at this point. Once it's all rendered down and I get rid of all the particles that I don't want, I put it all back together and then I slowly render it out to more and that's when I'll start to filter it through different filters to make sure it's good and clean. But right now I'm just going to filter it through an open strainer. Even, you can see the little particles in there of meat and fat. I don't want those. And part of the reason why I'm straining it off is because the grease will eventually just keep climbing in temperature and it'll start to cook and I don't want that. I just want it to, liqui um, to liquefy. 
so that I can drain it off. This is the fat, basically uh, rendered down from one fall bear. It has solidified overnight just by cooling. Um, it's only been boiled down once and it's only been put through a strainer. I'm going to bring it back to a liquid. This is the initial rendered down stage of one fall bear. This is what I ended up with and now I'm going to bring it back uh, heat it back up and bring it back to a liquid state and then I'm going to filter it about four times through different types of filters to get all the sediment and particles out to just have it a pure lard. There's still quite a bit in there that needs to liquefy but we're getting there but you can still see like right there look at the sediment in there so that's what we want to filter out because we don't want that to be part of our soap. And this is just, you know, how I do it. Um, you can take it, make it your own, and improvise, tweak it, develop it your own way. This is an environment that's meant to um, just provide information where we learn and grow together. Here is the final product of our rendered down bear fat. It's been filtered basically five times. Um, it's clean and it's at least over three gallons. Uh, so that's gonna make a lot of great soap. We are the Nova Scotia Women That Hunt and we are creating a community where we learn and grow together. Hope you enjoyed the video. How to win Stuff This Cup. Step one, like any video on the WTH YouTube channel. Step two, comment below the video that you choose. Hashtag Stuff This Cup. Step three, share the YouTube video of your choice on your social media. And tag Women That Hunt. That's it. That's all. And so for the month of April, we are going to be stuffing this cup.